We use this technique to really kickstart your day, to be more energized, more focused, more grounded, more balanced, more in harmony with your surroundings, but also more in harmony with yourself. But the good thing is this technique can be also practiced in the evening, even though it's very energizing. If you take some time after the technique, maybe five to 10 minutes, to just let everything settle, focus on your breath, you feel your body, you calm the breath, you calm the mind, you center yourself, then it's a great technique in the evening to awaken the energy system, to be also more balanced, more harmonized, more energized, but at the same time very grounded, deeply rooted, deeply connected, so that you can even, let's say at eight o'clock, you're lacking energy. You practice the technique, maybe you get too much energy, but if you take your time to rest, you can also sleep very nicely, because it really opens up the nadis, the subtle energy channels, connects the cross material body with the subtle material body. It's kind of the connection you know, between you, the mind and the soul, the gateways to your spiritual uh, body, to your spiritual path. Chit means the consciousness, the awareness, knowledge, wisdom. Shakti is the energy, the power, the strength. So Chit Shakti is actually our spiritual potency lying dormant within our hearts. Vagriya means performance, activity, to a ritual, action. So it's a very energizing technique where we unblock especially everything surrounding stuck in our chest. So much blockages, so much energy during the day, we accumulate so much, we take it with us overnight, we wake up in the morning, we still have like a headache or a bad feeling, we had a fight with a loved one. So to clear these energies out, we should practice this on a daily basis. This is one of the pranayamas I practice myself every day because it gives me lots of energy, lots of joy, and I really feel grounded. The technique is simple. I showed it in many videos, but if you're new to the channel, uh, I will show it to you now. So you inhale, arms up, Spread your fingers wide, long and wide, stretch them out. And as you exhale, fully exhale, inhale, open up, exhale, letting go. If you have problems with epilepsy, uh, if you're dizzy, shortness of breath, maybe you had a recent uh, surgery in the belly, stomach area in your brain, or you're pregnant more than four months, then please don't practice this technique. You could practice it, but very gently. Also, if you feel maybe it's too much, you can also move the arms more gently, like you swing them, otherwise go for it. What I do, I really focus on each breath. I open up and letting go. Inhale, new, fresh life force. Exhale, all the toxic waste and focus on your heart center. We do three rounds, 30 breaths each round. After 30 breaths, you inhale. I will count for you, you don't need to count. You hold the breath, maybe five to 10 seconds. You can squeeze the Mula Bandha, activate the Mula Bandha, the perineum muscle, if you know. You squeeze, like you hold back your pee, your perineum. Squeeze, hold, focus on the heart. Then you release the perineum, exhale very gently, place your hand on your knees, feel the body, focus on your breath. We're gonna do three rounds, followed by a five minutes meditation to really ground ourselves, to really settle the energies, also that you can experience how this energy awakening technique works in the evening before you go to bed, so that you can open up but still go to sleep and have a very rejuvenated, nicely deep sleep. Okay, find yourself in a comfortable sitting position. You can sit on a cushion, on a chair. 
Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Keep your spine straight. The rest of the body is relaxed. Also relax your face muscles, your jawline, your cheekbones. And a gentle smile on your lips. And for a couple of breaths, just observe your own breathing. Bring the awareness on each in and each exhalation. Center yourself with each breath. If the mind wanders, just bring it back to the breathing. There's no rocket science, just you and your breath. When you inhale, first inhale in through the belly, all the way up to your diaphragm, into the top parts of your lungs, letting go in reversed order, and at the end of the exhalation, Breathe out fully and move the belly in slightly. Like the waves of the ocean coming and going. Okay, to connect with the spiritual potency within us, surrounding us, present all the time in each of every one of us. I'm gonna chant the mantra all three times. Try to connect with your heart, chant from your heart, not just with your lips and listen with your ears. Focus on the heart chakra and chant the mantra of Om and connect deeply within. Inhale, and then we chant together three times. Like you really mean it. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Don't forget, keep your smile on your lips, and keep the body relaxed, and with each breath, really focus on the movement, focus on the breath. Open up, letting go. Okay, inhale, and you follow my rhythm. Fifteen more. Last three. Inhale fully, hold the breath, 
Activate Mula Bandha, squeeze the perineum muscle. Focus on your heart, on your chest. Whenever you feel the urge to breathe again, release the Mula Bandha. Gently exhale and place your hands on your knees. Feel the opening in the chest, the blood flow, the energy moving through your body, the cells fully oxygenated with fresh prana. And focus on your breath. It's a very energizing technique, but you don't want to create any tension, any passion. And we have to always go back to the breath and slow down the breath as much as you can. With each breath, find more and more peace, more and more calm within. Okay, inhale, exhale, inhale, arms up, and go. Fifty more. of each breath, open up, letting go, last five, two, one, inhale, arms up, squeeze the perineum muscle, hold the breath, focus on the heart chakra, whenever you feel the urge to breathe again, release the Mula Bandha, Gently place your hands on your knees. Feel the body, the opening, the energy freely moving in your system. And focus on your breath. Where we consciously, full of awareness, focus on each breath. Try to not breathe so deep, very gently, very soft. Calm the breath with each in and exhalation. There will be a great opening right now in this session. Round number three. I'm going to do 40 breaths if you can. If it's too much, if it's too long, just do 20 or 30 breaths. But if you can, go with the 40. We do 20 breaths fast, like before. And the last 20 breaths, I'm going to do a deep, a bit slower and calmer so the first is like 
and the later we really open up, make use of each breath, especially the exhalation, letting go of all the toxic waste within. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, arms up. And go. Last five fast. Open up, letting go. Make use of each breath. Feel the energy, the prana all around you. Open up, inhale fresh life force. And as you exhale, Pump out all the negativity, all the toxic waste, all the emotional blockages, the garbage accumulated in so many years of stress and anxiety. Just let it go, open up. Last seven breaths. Last inhalation, arms up, hold the breath, squeeze the perineal muscle and hold for as long as you can. Whenever you feel the urge to breathe again, release the mula bandha, the perineal muscle and very slowly and gently exhale by placing your hands on your knees. Focus on the breath, feel the body, feel the energy circulating in your system. And feel more and more the softness and calmness of the prana energy. The more open the energy channels are, the nadis, the more soft, the more calm can perceive the prana. Also sit comfortably with your spine straight. The rest of the body is completely relaxed. Relax your neck. And when I say relax, I mean consciously observe, feel into the neck or any other body part and then just release, let go and relax the neck. Shoulders, consciously feel into the shoulders and letting go, that's just a few seconds. Relax your upper back and your lower back. chest and your abdominal area, also on the side of the ribs, relax your sitting muscle, your legs, your thighs, your knees, your shin, the calves, Relax your feet and your toes. Now relax both arms, first the upper arms. Also feel and release the elbows, 
the lower arms, both hands, feel into each finger all the way to your fingertips and relax. Relax your face muscles around the temples, especially the jaw and the cheekbones. No pressure on the forehead, your skull, your eyelids very soft, just relax. And don't forget to smile. Bring the awareness back to the breathing. Breathe very gently, peaceful, completely relaxed. There's no need breathe deeply anymore. And it's not just air, oxygen, you breathe in. You breathe in the life force itself, the prana energy. Consciously observe Connect with the force around you, also the life force within, emanating from your heart. With each breath, connect to the source of life. Make the breath with each in and with each exhalation more soft and more calm. You should reach a point where it feels like you don't breathe anymore. The slower you breathe, the more and the faster the prana energy will move. Wonderful. Relax the breath even more. Just let go of the monkey mind, all this thinking and wishing and desires. Just focusing on the breath in the here and now. Nothing else matters at the moment. Only you and your breath. And now let also go of the breath. 
just observe the breathing without any effort from your side. Let the breath, let life happen by itself. And just smiling, you observe the flow of life within you. If the mind wanders, just bring it back to the breath. Observe the flow of the breath. But don't interfere. Be the doer. Same time. Be detached. Letting go of the control. Let life happen by itself. Let the universal energy, the divine potency, breathe through you. Become the instrument of the breath, the instrument of life. Letting go, relax. Now bring the breath more to your awareness again by consciously breathing, belly, diaphragm, chest. Breathe a bit deeper again. Gently and slow, open your eyes. I love this technique. You could see it's so powerful, so energizing. But if you take your time and you practice Pramanda Pranayama at the end, the cosmic breathing, to really let everything settle. <clears throat> because Pranayama means to hold back the breath, to extend, to expand the life force. The strong techniques is for opening up, for giving us energy to make the prana flow properly in our system. But the trick is, to go deep with the slow and gentle breathing techniques. You can combine this with Nadi Shodhana, with alternate nostril breathing. What I do, I like Pramavi Pranayama, mm, the humming breath, because you open up and then you do the humming breath and you really center yourself, absorb yourself even more within. 
withdraw the senses from the outside world, go deeply within. You can practice meditation for one hour afterwards. It's so powerful. It goes so deep because the mind will be calm and you will be the observer of your own mind and you will realize you're not the body, you're not the mind. Nobody needs to explain it to you because you can experience it for yourself. If you don't know yet, I have a free seven day pranayama and breath work course just released recently. Just check the comment section below. It's a very nice course where we do every day one hour of pranayama to really deeply connect with the breath, with the life, with the body, with the mind and realize that we are the consciousness, the soul within. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Namaste.